I'm done for. I'm falling asleep. I'm getting lost all the time. I'm cold. I'm gonna go out there, <coughs> make it work somehow, and get back there safely. But oh, I'm just so tired. I'm on my way now driving from Vegas to Antelab Canyon in uh, Page, Arizona. It's a race I signed up. Pretty excited because it's just for fun. It's always for fun, of course. But this is not one of my top race of the year, which means that if things go poorly, I will slow down. I will never push past my limit because I want to stay healthy on this one. The course has really everything to be happy about. It's gonna be not too much elevation gain. It's gonna be scenic. Uh, everything perfect really to just enjoy the race. It's not about performance, it's not about pushing hard, it's just meeting people, seeing nice things, and just doing something challenging. Of course, 100 Mile is always challenging. I don't want to push too hard, that's really the main thing. I don't want to be wrecked after the race, or let's say one week after the race. The race is uh, close to Antelope Canyon. About the course so the course is um, is gonna be really exciting for the first 40 miles um, it goes into Antelab Canyon so, and then it goes in the desert then goes to Horseshoe Bend and then you run back in town and well not in town but around town and then you have 10 miles to so the reality is that it doesn't matter so much what you're <laughs> what your um, view would be when it's night time. I have to pick up my bib and drop my bag. But this year also I'm volunteering a few hours, giving t-shirts. Pre-race meal, got pizza this time around. All right, good night. My strategy for tomorrow, I'm gonna start pretty slow. I think I, I'm gonna try and reach the 40 mile mark with a lot of energy. That's easier said than done. Almost at the race start, starts in 15 minutes. Something that's interesting is that the 50 miler starts first, which is not super common. When you run 100 miles, you're used to be treated like a princess. Now I feel like we're not the main event, so I'm sad. Bacon, potatoes, all sorts of good stuff. So very well supported. It is gonna be cool today, but stay up on those electrolytes. It's really cold. Uh, it must be about freezing, maybe even a little colder than that. 
I had the sneakers, that was so yummy. The good thing about the cold weather is that you can have sneakers and they won't be melted, so yeah, it's positive, I guess. Lots of people get hyped before a race. I really don't. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> let's start, but I'm sitting down just waiting. Alright, I have it now. I have the pre-race stress of wondering how it's gonna go. I'm worried about the cold, about the sand, about not being injured. About having the motivation to run a hundred miles for no good reason really other than together and get this started five four three two one you guys are out have fun guys crazy bob and aj headed out you guys are awesome it's gonna be an amazing course out there go and enjoy it there's maybe molly and i actually don't know running with my puppy this morning I absolutely don't regret that. Ooh. I haven't quite seen the sun yet, but it's about to come out. Still looks really cold. Starting early with the food today. And just like that, it's daytime. It's still cold. We did our first canyon. We passed the first aid station a little while back, and we've been on these super wide dirt road for a while it's really special actually to see everyone up ahead there's a lot of people I'm about to enter the canyon yay And just like that, we're out of the canyon. It was shorter than expected, but very beautiful. Does that work? <laughs> well. Again, don't ask me for advice on nutrition. Mmm! Nom 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 So yummy and like tummy! <laughs> Temperature is really good now, it's... If it stays like that all day, that would be perfect temperature to run. I'm feeling very good. Spirits are high.
that aid station was a blessing because the poo poo line was minimal. What in the hell? This is the wrong direction. Thank you, thank you. Is that the finish line? Grand Canyon that way, way, Colorado that way. There's a lot of focus on Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend being the cool stuff, but what I like running these long distances is you get to see the real landscape. And sometimes it's the little things that just feel special. This white line very special. I love the rock formation. I love these curves. It's just very special. It's actually pretty tough to navigate here or even just run. The trick is to stop by the river, take some pictures, Take your time and let someone go in front of you. <laughs> Marker. I'll find the next one. <sighs> I don't think I'm on track. Huh. Got it. <laughs> the trail. <laughs> I did a little scenic tour or detour. So I had to come down the cliff. Off trail. But we're back. I gotta say, I have a Star Wars vibe around here. I'm kind of worried some Jawa will kidnap me. All right, I'm next. Don't laugh. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't find me, there's no view up there. <laughs> Do you mind if I pass you though? Absolutely. Yes. Please. That worked. Thanks for the tip. Okay. That was special. Unexpected. There's some water in the canyon, so. Spider Man. Spider Man. Something, something. A spider can. It gets narrow sometimes. Very cool. Very, very cool. Status report. I'm feeling very good. Feeling very, very good. So I'm happy about that. You always hope that feeling bad comes later in the day. And it seems that for today, it's going to be like that for me. So I ain't complaining. <laughs> we probably this did already of the scenic part of the race. Uh, the landscape is still really cool around me, but there's this canyon back there. It was really nice. 
it was really fun, very narrow sometimes. It's a nice view, you can see really far away. I can actually see the various aid stations. So I know how much I have to go still, which is a lot. We're running on this 10 mile loop around Page. So far it's pretty good, it's very runnable. Mild elevation change and it's not sandy, so it's perfect actually. Still doing well, feeling my legs now, but nothing abnormal. In fact, if anything, feeling very strong. I'm running towards what I believe will be Lake Powell eventually. And it is official. I am tired. My legs are spent, low energy. My stomach is not feeling so great. So I guess that's the start of the race. Oh well, still running most of it but just not feeling great. I finished my first lap a while back now, actually. Two hours for my first lap, so that's really fast. I'm not planning to hold that up. Now, second lap. There just really isn't much to say. I'm still tired, but spirits are high. Could be much worse, actually. So, yeah, we'll keep pushing all night if we need to, but we'll get there. It's really hard to keep filming when you're tired. I'm really using all of my mental energy to suppress the pain and just keep going. So, I really don't know what to say other than, oh, oh boy. Still going relatively well, but I'm tired. I'm feeling the swings of all shots where I'm feeling better than before. I know it's gonna come down again. So, gonna enjoy when it's good. So, smiling and just running. <sighs> this is probably my last entry before night night. Still going fairly well. I've been trying to charge my watch for the past 20 minutes, but just not able to do it anymore. So, my watch will die during the night, which isn't great because it's nice to use to navigate and know that you're on track. I have my phone as a backup, but it's not ideal. I'm slowing down my pace quite deliberately. I'm feeling good, but I think there's a lot of miles to go and I just wanna, I just wanna finish at this time. I, I don't wanna push too hard. So there's a lot left, but it's going all right. It's tough to film at night. I don't know if I'll do many more. It's tough to navigate also. I don't want to get lost. And with my watch, that's going to die. It's going to make it tricky. It's about 11.30. Made it to Page again. Two more laps. I'm not doing so great. I'm sleepwalking. I'm cold. I have to go out there again. I shouldn't wait here, but I'm eating ramen, but then I need to go. I just need to go. Because I'm not running anymore, so I just need to make some time quickly. Okay, last time at Page, <clears throat> well, last time stopping at the aid station, one more lap. 
I'm done for. I'm falling asleep. I'm getting lost all the time. I'm cold. I'm gonna go out there, <coughs> make it work somehow, and get back there safely. But oh, I'm just so tired. I'm really tired. There's no way I'm running that. Uh, probably around sunset. So, a little slow, but I'm really proud of this one. It was so cold, so freaking cold. It was really, it was hard to convince yourself to go out there again and do 10 more miles because it was so cold, so freaking cold. So yeah, but I've done it. Coming in, just like I did the last 20 miles, just walking. Anticlimactic, for sure. But it is the end, so let's get it done. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Look at those cliffs behind you lighting up. That looks pretty beautiful. Come on up here. Yay! <laughs> How's it going? It well. It is good to see you. <laughs> it is good. Yes. I mean, this is a, a first time gong banger here. So here we go, Simon. A 100 mile finish. Because I thought I looked pretty good, but when I arrived, the race director was like, "Hey, let's bring you in the, <laughs> the medical tent." So I was like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> but I think that's because it's cold. But yeah, done. What a race! <laughs> I don't even know where to start. The first 40 miles were gorgeous. Uh, it was really cool to run in this canyon. Um, the last 60 miles were definitely more of a grind. Doing these laps around Page was really tough and the cold was really, really hard on me. I, on, on everyone, I think a lot of people will probably drop because of that. Uh, it's, it's hard mentally to be in the aid station, you get warm, you get some warm liquid in you, and then you have to go out again. And uh, because of because of the flight and what I could carry, I actually didn't have enough clothing. So I was on the lower end of what one should be wearing when it's that cold. So I was really, really cold. Um, and the last time I came to the aid station, I, I, I really couldn't go right away. I had to warm up. In terms of Objective, well, I had a good time. I definitely had a good time and I don't think I'm injured. I'm not a sponsored athlete yet. So the course was very well organized and the aid station were fantastic, well spaced, super well organized. And the one thing that for me is it's kind of off a little bit for a race that is so well organized, the course marking was really bad, especially the, the loop around page. It was very hard to navigate that night and quite a lot of people got lost the trail at one point or another. It happened to me probably a dozen times. The race is so perfect except for that, uh, that hopefully they can work on that a little bit. Hey Simon, can you get me the remote? Thank you. Hey Simon, can you bring me my tea? Sure. Why are you filming me? Simon, the cookies are ready.